Welcome in to the part two of this two-part video series on keyboard plate comparisons. If you came across this video first, then this video is about a comparison between five different keyboard plates being aluminum, brass, FR4, polycarbonate, and palm while using Mode Design's signal tactile switches. If you have not seen part one of this where I go over the exact same comparison, but using Mode Design's reflex linear switches, then I'll have that linked up here and also at the end of this video, which you can watch after as well. So um, let's dive in. In this comparison video, I'm using Mode's signal tactile switches, which are also manufactured by Duroc. These have 63 and a half gram springs, giving it a medium tactility feel. These, according to Mode, are excellent alternatives to the MX Ergo Clear switches if you're familiar with those. Signal switches also come lightly pre lubed and can be used stock or re lubed to your own preferences. It's a polycarbonate top housing with a nylon bottom housing and 5 pin PCB mount style. Now, here are the plate comparisons. So to briefly go over the outro from the part one video, I'm not using PC or Palm anymore because it's too soft. I prefer FR4, brass, and aluminum in that order. Aluminum feels like it's a tad bit more vibrational, 
uh, on my fingertips and I'd rather have less of that when I bottom out. FR4 is the preferred softer typing experience for me, but at the same time, it's not too soft like the PC or Palm. Okay, now regarding my sound preferences, right now I don't exactly have a very strong answer to that and my thoughts on it are very limited because I feel like I still need more time with different builds and using different plates to really know. But so far, regardless tactile or linear switches, the Palm and PC plates sound exactly the same to me. The FR4 and the aluminum also have very, very little difference to me, um, if, if not the same to my ears. Brass is really the only one that somewhat stands out just a little bit. And by that, I really mean just like a tiny bit. Now, if you ask me if I can pick my preference on these plates based on sound profile alone, that would be very difficult for me to do right now. And I, I guess I wouldn't really have one because they all sound too, too similar. Now I can more easily tell the difference between like if you were to spam a, uh, a single same key, but when I'm fully typing away in a real time scenario with all 10 fingers just fully typing away, all of that difference that I could hear in a single key all goes away. The entire keyboard just sounds exactly the same regardless of which of these plates is under it. Now, I will say that the only sound that I can distinguish between the different plates is the spacebar or some of the longer keycaps like the enter key or the shift, but that's about it. Everything else, like majority of the keys on the keyboard, the alpha keys that you would use normally, they all sound the same regardless of the plate. So in conclusion, now very limited conclusion, simply put, as of right now, I would only be picking plates based on the feel and not the sound. And then I would be picking switches for the feel and the sound. That's it. So until I have more time to mess around with different plates, combinations with the numerous switches out there and different builds, the acquire more data, then, you know, I would be able to uh, share an updated experience with you guys and see how uh, me choosing different components might change. And yeah, so that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subs for more content like this from me. And as always, I will see you next time.